hello guys welcome back to my kitchen today we will prepare this irresistible obono and okra soup combo here are the ingredients we will use the full list will be in the description box below the video this is how i clean my bomo especially this one that is burnt i don't know what they were doing i don't even know what i was thinking when i bought this burnt bomo i guess i was thinking about the delicious obono soup i will use it to prepare for you guys When done, rinse very well and put in a pot. Add the beef, the seasoning cubes. If you have the energy, you can steam it, but you know, this is soup. Later, everything will be tasting delicious obono and okra, delicious obono and okra. <laughs> Cover that and start cooking. Now, let's get back to those ingredients. We have okra. Look at how fresh they are. Beef. Spinach, you can also use ogo or bono. I just took it out of the freezer, hence the clumps. You'll see how I'll handle that later. The pomo, this pomo, eh? <laughs> Crayfish and ogiri obe. Yes, that black thing is locust bean seasoning. Very traditional and enhances the taste of the obono soup. Seasoning cubes, peppers. Did I mention the palm oil and the smoked fish up there? Yeah, those two too. Clean and chop the peppers. I use a combination of scotch bonnet and sweet peppers. Then chop the okra. For a change, I just want to chop my okra this way today. If you want, you can chop yours tinier, you know, more kelly kelly. <laughs> then debone and break up the smoked fish into as many pieces as you want. I have a video of how to prepare the best smoked mackerel in your kitchen. Now, even though the obono is already ground into powder, it tends to clump up in the freezer. So I give it a whiz or two in the dry meal to turn it into powder once again. Then grind the crayfish and ogiru bay together. When the meat is done, set that aside. We will use this clean dry pot to mix the obono. Add palm oil. Once it warms up, the keyword here is warm, eh? Don't bleach it. When it warms up, turn off the heat and add the obono. Then mix very well. Add some of the meat stock. I don't know. Something sounds like there's sand at the bottom of this pot. Can you hear it? Mm. 
This can happen if the obono is not well sorted before grinding. All you need for that to happen is just one tiny piece of rock or is it stone? Yeah, if that heavy duty grinder used in grinding obono in Nigeria market jams the stone, it will crush it and that's probably the sound we hear now. I'm not taking any chances so I slowly decant that into another pot. Can you hear it or is it just me? Anyway, yeah, I don't know what it is but it's got to go. We don't want you here. I rinsed the pot and slowly decant this one as well just in case. Cover and start cooking on medium heat. Leave it to boil well well then start stirring it often so it does not burn. Low heat eh? Obono can burn easily. Now, this is what I do before I add the crayfish to the pot of obono so it does not clump up. I add some of the stock to it and mix very well. Then add to the pot and stir. See? No lumps. And now the moment of truth. Can you see it drawing? Can you? Can you? Yes, you can. So please press the like button for me now. Eh? I did try for you guys on these streets. Like oh, so your obodo soup will draw. <laughs> Now add the meat and smoked fish. By now you must have added all the meat stock. Yeah, you'll be adding it little by little as you were cooking the obono. Yeah, till done. Add the pepper, the okra. Click the like button, <laughs> then cover it. Once it heats up, add the spinach or whatever vegetable you're using on top. Once the vegetable wilts, stir everything very well and add salt if necessary. Have you seen this kind of yummy obono and okra soup before? Have you? Have you? Yummy. Don't go yet. Don't go yet. Remember, there was a swallow in the plate I showed you earlier. We need to make that swallow. Don't go anywhere yet. <laughs> so set some water to boil. Start pouring the semolina flour while stirring at the same time. Once it thickens, stop pouring and mix very well with all your energy. I have a detailed video on how to make semolina fufu. Look at that! You see the skid marks showing you that it draws very well. Click the video on the left to watch me cook only obono soup without okra. Bye bye! See you soon!